Welcome back for another DaVinci tutorial. In this one, I'll be explaining you all the settings that you need to know about making Instagram Reels. So, let's get started. Starting from the Edit tab, right click on the Media Pool, find Timeline and create a new Timeline project. Rename it as you wish. And then deselect the Use Project Settings. Now we are allowed to make some changes on the timeline. So you select the format. Currently it's set it on 1920 to 1080. So you want to flip that over. In the first box you want to type 1080 and the second one 1920. That way you're making the video look vertical. Lower you can see the frames. I'm keeping mine on 24 as it is. A very important thing is to go to the output and make sure that the timeline settings for output scaling is selected. That way the resolution is going to be identical and your end project is always going to be with the same resolution. Right now I'm adding one clip on the timeline which is 1920 to 1080 and as you can see as my timeline resolution is flipped over it is pushing it towards the center leaving a space on the upper part and the downside. You can add a blank filler from the open effects. Just drag and drop it over the clip so you can have this background. If that is not your case, you can always leave it blank. Right click on the timeline, select timeline settings and go to the mismatch resolution. There you can select scale full frame with corp and make sure as before you're going to the output and change it as well. Just so you can have identical finished result. Press OK and now you will see that the footage is fully stretched out and it is corping the sides. And the good thing about this one is that you're not having any blank spaces. While the clip is highlighted, you can always go to the inspector and change the position XY ratio to make sure that the action of the footage is always in the middle. You can also play out with the zoom settings. I'm gonna zoom out for example. That way I'm gonna create these nice borders on the top and bottom side, making it look a little bit more cinematic. Another way that you can use the zoom is that you can push it towards the top side leaving a black space just in the bottom and then you can have a text which you can place in the bottom which will contrast well with the white which you can put some text or call to action or some lyrics or whatever you want another example is when you're having multiple clips and every each one of them is having a different center of view so you want to highlight everyone individually and reposition the center of it as far as I know, in the studio version, there is an option that you can automatically do this, but I'm using the free one, so I'm doing everything manually. And now as I play it, you can see that all the action is in the middle, and I'm not corping from the main character. And now last but not least, something very important is how to export it. You can go to the delivery tab, you can select the custom export settings, you can rename it as you wish, you can select the location of course, you can leave the format on QuickTime, the codec on H.264 and on the resolution select custom and for the last time you want to switch it to 1080 to 1920. The frame rate remains the same and also you can restrict it to 10,000 bits. And once you did all that, of course you can add it to render queue and then render it. If that video was helpful, make sure to leave a comment, it would be much appreciated. Also leave a like on the video and subscribe for more. See you in the next one.